Jam Physics JTP 2017 question number 6 In this question we have a circuit in which two identical silicon diodes are connected in parallel along with the resistance R and an AC supply with a peak voltage of 2 volt is given to us. We have been asked to calculate the voltage waveform across PQ and what is the curve of that voltage waveform across PQ will be like. Now, in the given circuit, as we can see, in the positive half of the AC input, if we divide these positive half in two cases, that is, first case we in less than 0.7 volts, we can see that diode 1 will be reverse biased, thus the output voltage across PQ will be equal to V in only. And in the second case, when V is greater than 0.7 volts, D1 will be forward bias and thus the output voltage will be equal to 0.7 volts. Now in the negative half cycle, if V input is less than 0.7 volts, D2 will be reverse bias and the output voltage will be equal to V in. And when V in is greater than 0.7 volts, D2 will be forward bias and the P voltage across PQ will be equal to 0.7 volts thus the correct option will be option C and the correct option will be option C it's jam physics JTP 2017 question number 9 we have been given a figure which is a combination of two logic gates output values at P and Q are correctly is presented by which of the following options this is the question which have been asked to us. Now, we can see that in the following logic gate, output P and Q can be written as P equals to 1 dot Q whole bar as it includes two input 1 and Q and it is a NAND gate. Now, if we are simplifying 1 dot Q whole bar, we will get 1 bar plus q bar which is further equal to 0 plus q bar as a result we will get p equals to q bar as our final output in a similar way we can define q as 0 dot p whole bar which is simplified to 1 plus p bar which is equal to 1 now as q will always be equal to 1 and p equals to q bar p will also be equal to 0 in every possible case so the correct answer here will be op option C MCQ question number 10 in this question we are given with three Pauli matrices Sigma 1 Sigma 2 Sigma 3 where Sigma 1 equals to the matrix of elements 0 1 1 0 Sigma 2 equals to matrix of elements 0 iota minus iota 0 sigma 3 equals to matrix of elements 1 0 0 minus 1 then according to option a the multiplication of the matrix sigma 1 and sigma 2 is equals to matrix of elements 0 1 1 0 into matrix of elements 0 iota minus iota 0 <coughs> Now we will get sigma 1 sigma 2 equals to matrix of elements minus iota 0 0 iota. Taking out common minus iota then sigma 1 sigma 2 equals to minus iota matrix of elements 1 0 0 minus 1. So according to given matrix we know that sigma 3 is equals to 1 0 0 minus 1. So, sigma 1 sigma 2 equals to minus iota sigma 3, where sigma 3 is equals to 1 0 0 minus 1. Similarly, we can check other options also. So, option A is correct. MCQ question number 12. In this question, we are having a system of capital N classical particles each of which can have energy 0 and capital E. The equilibrium temperature of the system is capital T. Then we have to find out the total energy capital U and heat capacity C of the system. 
सो लेट एन नॉट बी द नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स ऑफ एनर्जी लेवल ईक्व टू जीरो एंड नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स इन एनर्जी लेवल ई इज एन वन इक्व टू एन नॉट ई टू दावर माइनस ई अपॉन के टी देन द टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्लासिकल पार्टिकल्स एन इक्व टू एन नॉट प्लस एन वन सो एन इक्व टू एन नॉट प्लस एन नॉट ई टू दावर माइनस ई बाई के टी दैट्स एम्प्लाइज एन नॉट इक्व टू एन अपॉन वन प्लस एक्सपोनशियल ऑफ माइनस ई अपॉन के टी Similarly, n1 equals to n exponential of minus e upon kt upon one plus exponential of minus e upon kt. So, by the definition of total energy, u equals to n not multiplied by energy corresponding to particles n not plus एन वन इन टू एनर्जी कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू पार्टिकल्स एन वन दैट्स एम्प्लाइज यू इज इक्व टू एन नॉट इन टू जीरो प्लस एन वन इन टू ई सो यू इज इक्व टू एन ई एक्सपोनशियल ऑफ माइनस ई अपॉन के टी अपॉन वन प्लस एक्सपोनशियल ऑफ माइनस ई अपॉन के टी दैट्स एम्प्लाइज यू इक्व टू एन ई अपॉन वन प्लस एक्सपोनशियल ऑफ ई अपॉन के टी अगेन हीट कैपेसिटी एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम इज द फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ टोटल एनर्जी एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम सो ऑन डिफ्रेंसिएटिंग ऑन बोथ साइड ऑफ इंटरनल एनर्जी यू देन सी इक्व टू डी यू अपॉन डी टी After calculation, we will get heat capacity C is equals to n e square k exponential of e by k t upon k t square one plus exponential of e upon k t whole square. So options.